with goalkeepers of both sides, Theo Richardson and Colin Adenga D, as we are underway at Mill Farm. As Southend kick off, comes away with it. Manager Meyer will appear for the appeal for the free kick there, won't get it, and will continue. Adds head, centre of play, a little bit of space, but one back high by Bridge. And now Cardwell is back to goal, laid off, and here's a chance for Bridge in behind for Southend United. Dunhunter got in so well. Really nice running behind there from Bridge, played in by... Pressed by Danny Ormrod doing some defending. Hassana is there too. Ralph looking to find space for a cross. He gets the cross away and Graham can only clear it to Ormrod. Ormrod's clearance is again poor and the coach is a little bit penned in here. Southend very, very quick to make sure that this defensive work from the coasters stays the way it is. And that's a really nice bit of turn from Bridge and now Ralph down the left hand side he's found his space well does Ralph and the cross comes in it's got to be a goal and he's missed from incredibly close range there Danny Waldron he was free and sizes for being late which I'll never make you apologize for it's absolutely fine free one as Adeng takes the goal kick and it falls but it's Waldron who's through must score really one on one with Richardson skins it round him and puts the ball and it's got the line one on one he put his life on the line there for the coasters. As Curse comes along. Last chance alone for Conway. Indeed, the ball comes into the box. It's a good area. It's headed away by Cardwell doing some defensive work. Horton plays through a, a small patch of mud. Conway, the option is clearly Horton. Onto his left foot to shape. But it's a shot towards goal. It's a P-roller, really. Won't cause ND any problems that. Sarka, youngster get away that easily. But the Coasters win themselves a throw in at least. Adds head. Hassan, there's a press on by Waldron and Bridge. But it's a good football from the Coasters. Pull back, it might come out here for Owen Evans if he can get the shot away. He does, and it's off the stanchion, I believe. We're continuing to play here. The assistant referee puts his flag up, but what an effort by Owen Evans. Yeah, he's really unfortunate there. Is, is So, credit to Chris Beach on that one. So, like they hit the jackpot in the appointment of the former interim boss. Here's Waldron, who's away again. He gets the contact on it. Is it going to roll over the line if it... Theo Richardson. Superb. Again, never gave up on it. Cleared it off the line. Another good chance for Southend to take the lead. But here's Bridge. Battling with Mitchell. He gets the better of him for now. The short option... Is Morton into the box? Might come at the back post for Walter again, and it's over the crossbar. You can't keep gifting a man of his quick filed too much. But the way they've come into this game, where they've approached it, looking strong so far. Good tactic from the manager inside the opening 28 minutes. Down the line, potentially for a cross here. It's back towards the penalty spot, and Cardwell wins his, wins his header. Heads it toward Richardson's goal. It's easy for him in the end, right at him, straight down his throat. Over to this left-hand side to take the throw in. Southend obviously assured that he can take a quality long one. He does just that. It's towards the six-yard box. He needed Ethan Mitchell to head it away. Now Morton out to Scott Morris. He's on his favoured right foot here. It's opening up for him ever so slightly. He'll take the shot from range. And again, he'll slowly approach Theo Richardson's goal. Easy for him in the end. He'll take straight out for a throw in, folks. We're back underway now with D, the goalkeeper. Who will indeed go high and long over the halfway line. It's a really good ball, really, as Waldron gets there first. He was caught in two minds. Theo Richardson, whether he should come for that. I think Adam Long was him giving up on anything. The South Edge United number 10. Always on the move. A bit of a pocket rocket is Danny Waldron. Ormrod could touch down for Horton. He'll flick it back into his path. Here's Ormrod to shoot from range. It took a bit of a nick and it went through easily to. Adengan D in the end, he'll get. So, and D, to take this free kick. Away and down the line, looking towards Cardwell, back into Long. Comes off the chest as the two battle for it. And it's, here's a charge to Southend into the box here. And Theo Richardson makes a save of his AFC final career. Fantastic acrobatics. And then, but it's been cutting out all day, so. Apologies for the technical difficulties, but ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the football, shall we? For Southend United, about 10 yards into their own half. 
opt to go short to Taylor. He'll try and move forward, trying to bring Fylde out of their positions. Scott Morris down the lines. Good ball, really. Here is Taylor. Ball into the box, and it's an opening goal for Southend United at Mill Farm. Danny Waldron, he's had his chances all game. And he wasn't going to miss from there. Really nice play down the right hand side to loft the ball into an area. Danny Waldron, he's had his chances, hasn't he? It's about time he took one. As there was a little bit of an injury there. I'm not quite sure what happened. A few South End supporters enter the field of play. It's not going to tell. South End United won. Theo Richardson then. We'll just send it over towards Jonathan Oosterbashi. Gus Scott Morris is never not going to win that header. Miley continues to move away from Hassana. It's still Miley. The option over on that far left-hand side is Richardson. The switch is on here to United. Gus Scott Morris, can he keep this in? Back to his teammate Taylor. Not too much going. They're trying to kill this game, South End United. Doesn't look like they're really going anywhere. You've got a big smile on your face, Max. Have you? Anything good? Yes. Well, enough him. I'll see you in Bradley's after the game then. Here they come down the left hand side. Good football here from Bridge. Can he keep that one away from the ball line? And referee saying goal kick. Waldron finding that space once more inside the box. He's I thought that that was what he did every game. Yeah, exactly. I'll have to tell him at full time. <laughs> nice switch over to the left then from the yellows. A nice overlap as well. It's going to be a good chance to find some space for the cross. Here's Miley. Left-hand side. Finds a return to Miley again. He crosses on the left foot. It comes to Cardwell. And a second goal to surely secure the points for South End United at Mill Farm. We spoke about the danger of Danny Waldron and Harry Cardwell prior to this game and two goals from that South End United front line have really hurt file today and two headers as well that's just a proper quality of striker Max I don't know what you thought about that Asana looking to try and create something and again summing up filed yeah sums up filed stay that Scott Morris inside is the number 23 Morton with time to shoot and puts a really really sweet strike past the post it was a good effort from him Max I almost said immaculate then but that's not true it's been yeah it's been a good it's been a good quality but not good enough here's Jonathan Ustabashi looking to try and carve something Oh, and it needed a save there from the goalkeeper. A first shot on target there for the coaches by Adengan D. Conway then. In swinging corner. Aden comes to gather it. Who's to bash at the back post? Just gets his header all wrong. Just sort of threw his head at the ball. 